Pandemic-era dining sheds have become a part of New York's urban landscape, whether New Yorkers like it or not. They're trash magnets. I mean, they're just awful. I think they're terrible. <laughs> I like them. He likes them. <laughs> now, New York City Council has voted to make them seasonal, allowing them from April through November. Matthias Van Laden has spent over $100,000 on his restaurant's outdoor dining spaces. We're okay with the ruling, and uh, we're happy that New York is moving in a direction a bit more European where we have people sitting outside and it makes the street a little bit more lively. Outdoor dining helped his restaurant survive the pandemic. Still, he understands why some people are opposed to it. You know, some people are not doing it right and, you know, they're the ones that make us look bad, the entire restaurant uh, community. And uh, so those things should go. They should do it right or not do it at all. Dining sheds have turned Leif Arntzen from jazz musician to activist. He doesn't see the new plans as any kind of compromise. The noise goes from here right up into the windows, right here. For residents, it's less curb space, less sidewalk space, less roadbed space, less space to get up and down the block, uh, less quiet, uh, less emergency access. It's just less. It's more for one industry, less for everybody else. Arnson hopes a public comment period will lead city council to change its tune, but if the plan goes forward, restaurant owners will have to apply and pay to be part of the new seasonal program. David Martin, The Associated Press.